Money can buy happiness for sure, but money can buy knowledge and experiences. How? Of course through books. So in this video, I am going to share best books about finance. These books have tons of valuable knowledge and experiences shared by several wealthy people that can help you fix your money problems too. So ready your ears, pens and take down notes. This is Umair and these are the top 5 finance books in the world. Let's start at top 5. The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. Value investing which focuses on creating consistent long-term gains by disregarding the current market and choosing businesses with high intrinsic value is described in The Intelligent Investor. There are three key takeaways from this book and these are Three guidelines govern wise investing, consider the long term and guard against losses and avoid chasing after unrealistic rewards. Never trust Mr. Market since it has a tendency to act irrationally over the short and long term. And lastly, you will succeed if you follow a specific procedure when making all of your investments. So why do you need to read this book? According to Warren Buffett, this is the best investing book ever published. It is based on lessons of Warren Buffett learned while a young student in Benjamin Graham's teachings. Value Investor seeks out businesses with strong fundamentals and purchase their stock at a bargain. All that's left to do is wait after that. They will eventually reveal their true worth, a genuine, enduring classic. And that's it for the top 5 and the author leaves a quote that those who do not remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Benjamin Graham Going now to the top 4 finance book we have is The One Page Financial Plan by Carl Richards. The One Page Financial Plan helps you map out your complete financial future on one page. Eliminating the strain that comes with financial planning for those who lack discipline. Now there are the three key takeaways from this book and these are Determine your certain goals but be adaptable and make adjustments as you go. 2. To make saving enjoyable, convert budgeting into a game. And lastly, consider paying off your debt as a future investment. Why do you need to read this book? Over the past 20 years, Carl Richards has worked at Wells Fargo, Merrill Lynch and other financial institutions for more than 40,000 hours as a financial counselor. His Instagram sketches have gained a lot of traction. They provide examples of the concepts that enabled him and his wife to organize their finances on a single sheet of paper. You may learn how to do this from this book. And that's it for the top 4 and the author leaves a quote that people who understand interest earn it, people who don't pay it. Paul Richards Going now to the top 3 finance book we have is The Barefoot Investor by Scott Pape. The Barefoot Investor is a straightforward manual for managing your personal finances that uses a straightforward strategy to pay off debt live in the present and still retire in peace. It was, it was written by an Australian farm lad and there are three key takeaways from this book. And these are number one, make managing your finances easier by using multiple bank accounts. Two, shred your credit cards, then begin making payments on your debt. Lastly, use index funds to automate some of your retirement planning. Now, why do you need to read this book? Australia's most respected authority on personal finance is Scott Pape. He sold more than 100,000 copies of this book. Even though Pape was raised on a farm, he desired to become wealthy through stock trading. That didn't go as planned. He returned to his farm and now compares living simply to managing your finances. The book teaches you how to take charge in three stages, planting, growing and harvesting your cash. He strikes a balance between conventional guidance and unconventional suggestions. A fantastic book for new readers. And that's it for the top 3. And the author leaves a quote that you can continue living in the past beating yourself up about the money mistakes you made when you were younger, telling yourself you have left it too late or you can rise up and make yourself proud. Scott Pape. 
going now to the top two finance book we have is the money master the game by tony robbins according to money master the game which is based on tony robbins interviews with the world's top billionaires investors there are seven easy stages to financial freedom there are three key takeaways from this book and these are number one compound interest exponential potency should never be underestimated two pick one of three financial goals to your, show yourself that is that financial freedom is within reach basic expenses basic plus one or financial independence and lastly use a three bucket strategy to diversify your investment a security bucket a growth bucket and a dream bucket now why do you need to read this book tony robbins worked on this book for 11 years he made a decision to aid common people in securing a bright future in the wake of the 2008 financial crisis he assembled their greatest tactics after speaking with various rich financial luminaries including ray dalio warren buffet and jack bogle Everything from mentality shifts to money-saving advice to asset allocation is covered in this book. The interview transcripts alone are worth the cost of the book. And that's it for the top two and the author leaves a quote that you either master money on some level or money masters you. Tony Robbins Now finally go to the top one finance book in the world is Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. In order to help you develop the mindset and financial understanding you need to create a life of riches and independence, Rich Dad Poor Dad tells the tale of a youngster who has two fathers, one rich and one poor. There are three key takeaways from this book. These are use your money to acquire assets, not liabilities. Two, manage risk instead of avoiding them. Lastly, work to learn, not to earn. Now why you should read this book? Although this book is divisive, it simply works when it comes to motivating you to take action. It is partially based on the life of Kiyosaki who discovered two distinct approaches to managing money from his father and his best friend. The lessons cover a variety of topics including how to think about money conceptually, fundamentally, concepts in accounting, budgeting and investing, as well as how to manage your money so it works for you. By the time the story is over, you'll enjoy using the advice. And of course, the author of this book has a quote that says, The main reason that over 90% of the American public struggles financially is because they play not to lose. They don't play to win. Robert Kiyosaki And that's it for this video guys. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. And if you want more videos like this, Please subscribe, it would cost nothing to you but it would be a great help for my channel. So until next time, peace out.